In this demonstration video, I'll show how to extract data from an AJAX-enabled website. The website lists baby names alphabetically and I'll extract some information about all the names. First, I need to navigate to the list of baby names so I'll add a link template that clicks on one of the starting letters up here. When I click on the letter, it doesn't look like the web element is selected in the web browser, but I can see in the capture window that the element is in fact selected. Visual Web Ripper cannot always mark a web element as selected in the web browser if a background image hides the selection color. I can press the toolbar button up here to show selection borders, and you can now see the selection in the web browser. I'm now on the web page listing the baby names and I want to click on all the starting letters up here so I can extract the names for each letter. When I click on a letter you'll see the message loading in the middle of the web page and then a new list of names is loaded onto the page. This indicates the website is using an Ajax callback to load the names every time I click on a letter. I'll now create a link list template that selects all the letters. I need to change the template action from full page load to Ajax. I'll now add a page area template to iterate through the baby names on the web page. I'll extract the baby names in the page area template. I want to extract some extra information about each name, so I'll add a link template to navigate to the detail page for each name. I'll extract the meaning, origin, and gender information for each name. Now when I move back to the web page listing all the baby names, you may notice that the list of names was displayed slightly delayed after the web page was loaded. This is because the website uses an Ajax callback to load the list of names immediately after the web page is loaded. Visual Web Ripper cannot automatically wait for such an Ajax callback to complete, and it uses a yellow icon to indicate that it couldn't find the list of names after the web page was loaded. I need to instruct Visual Web Ripper to wait for the list of names to load before trying to extract the names. Now I'll test it again to make sure it works. You can see the icon is now green, so Visual Web Ripper has successfully waited for the names to load.
The website lists many pages of baby names for each starting letter. I want to extract all names from all pages, so I need to add a page navigation template. When I click on the Next Page link, the website moves to the next page without performing a full page load. So this means the link activates an Ajax callback. You'll often encounter a specific problem when a website uses Ajax to move between pages in a page navigation set, and I'll show you this problem now. Notice that I'm currently on page 3 in the page navigation set. I'll now open a baby name detail page and then move back to the baby name list. The website has automatically moved me back to page 1 in the page navigation set. This will also occur when I run the data extraction project, and it will lead to an infinite loop where the project will keep extracting data from page 1. In order to avoid this problem, I want to make sure Visual Web Ripper doesn't navigate away from the page navigation set, but instead uses a new web browser to process the baby name detail pages. I do this by selecting the option, Start New Web Browser. I'm now ready to run the data extraction project. When you look at the data extraction process, you'll notice that it looks like the wrong content is being extracted. I'll stop the data extraction process and have a closer look at this problem. You can see that most of the extracted data is indeed incorrect. I designed the data extraction project based on a specific baby name detail page, but other detail pages may have a slightly different layout, so I may have to modify the related template so it works with all detail pages. When I open a link list template, Visual Web Ripper navigates to the first link in the list by default. I can open a template with a specific link by first selecting the link in the web browser and then open the template. I can now see that my template doesn't work correctly for this particular detail page. The content I want to extract is located in slightly different positions on different detail pages. I will use text filters to make sure I always extract the correct content. I can now run the project again.
You can now see that the correct content is being extracted. 